The Planet Man. The Planet Man. This is the fascinating story of Dan Tro, the Planet Man. Troubleshooter for the League of Planets organization. The law enforcement body for peace and justice in the celestial world. Whose headquarters and center of operations are situated on the capital of all the planets, Planaria Rex. From Mercury to Pluto, wherever danger threatens the universe, you will find Dan Tro, the Planet Man, fighting for fair play. In a moment, the Planet Man. As you recall, Dantro the Planet Man and Slats, captives on the robot planet, have just been contacted by a messenger from T21, a master robot who tells them he is their friend and wants them to help him overthrow the other robots who have captured them and who rule the planet. Dantro has just agreed to cooperate. What do you want us to do, T21? For the moment, nothing. nothing. Do Do as as you you have have been been doing. doing. Pretend to go along with the plan plan to conquer conquer the galaxy. galaxy. When When I am am ready, ready, I will will contact contact you again. again. How does he know about our cooperating and pretending to? I don't like this. My friend would like to know how it is you know so much about us and our plans, T21. That That is a fair fair question. question. But But I am afraid afraid I cannot cannot take the time time to explain explain it it now. now. You You must must trust trust me. me. I had better had withdraw, better withdraw my, messenger my messenger before, before the, attendant the attendant outside, outside your door, door gets, gets suspicious. suspicious. Hey, look at that bore. It's going right back into the hole it came out of. Yes, and sealing up the opening behind it. You know, Slats, if only these machines were helping us instead of trying to overthrow our society. Yeah. Hey, speaking of helping, do you really trust this T21? Don't you? I thought you had a hunch that the first message he sent us was on the level. Well, I don't know what to think. I guess it's just that I can't get used to machines talking and acting like people. The thing that really threw me was seeing those tremendous construction jobs doing their work without a human hand controlling them. Well, you seem to forget Barrel. He was a robot, too, and yet he died to save us and the rest of the Mardi fleet. Yeah, that's true. Then why should it be so hard to believe that T21 is telling the truth? Hey, you're right, as usual. Besides, like you say, we haven't much choice. Oh, who's there? Mira. May I come in? Better not mention T21, Slats. Oh, I think we can trust her, but you're the boss. Here, come on in, Mira. Did the messenger you were hoping for show up? Uh, Not quite. Oh, I told you it was useless to hope. There are no living beings on this planet besides you and Slats, me and my father. I agree with you. Yeah, so do I. Well, what are you going to do now? Well, the moment will go along as we planned, cooperating with the robots until the time is ready to act. You still think you have a chance? You will only hurt yourselves. No one can defeat them. Don't upset yourself, Mira. It's late. Why don't you get some rest? I think we could all do with some. Sure, you're all upset. Things look better in the morning. Look better in the morning. They'll never look better. I am tired, though. Good night. Good night, Mira. Good night. Too bad about her. She's a nice kid. She certainly had a tough break, just her and her father and losing her brother and all. Say, what's happened to Clark? We haven't seen him in days. Well, he's probably afraid. Mira must have told him we were up to something, and he's worried that the robots will think he's in on it. I'll bet that's it. You might be right. Well, let's turn in. I wasn't fooling when I told Mira I was tired. Yeah, it's a good idea. Hey, tell me honestly, even if this T21 is on the square, do you think there's any chance of our blocking these machines? Who knows, Slats? But it's the way you said. We haven't any choice. You two are going to have to work faster, or I will report you to the Orient. Listen, you act as though we were robots just like you are. We're living beings, and we just can't go through this without... I will listen to no more excuses. Oh. You have two days to give us a complete analysis of the ship. Now get to work. You, Planet Man, will work with the machines assigned to reconstructing a plan of the space drive. And you, Slats, the weapons control system. 
If I have the slightest reason to reprimand you, I will report the matter to the Orientor. And you know what that means? Yeah, we know. We'll be reconditioned. Exactly. Now, to your work. Planet Man, I sent for you because a message has come through that you are to report to the Orientor at once. Why, has something gone wrong? I'm working as quickly as I can, but It you... is not your place to question orders. This attendant robot will escort you. Now, go at once. A transport is waiting. As you say. Hey, Dentro, where are you going? I have an order to report back to the Oriental. You stay here. Okay, but don't let him pull anything on you. Dantro seems quite upset at this summons from 012. What will this mean? Will Slats be able to contain himself during Dantro's absence? We'll be back in a moment. So, level up. Dantro has just left Slats with ZR5 in the laboratory as he was summoned to appear immediately before the Orienter 012. We find Dantro aboard the robot transporter en route. I wonder if you can understand what I say. Attendant. Attendant, look at me. I'll bet you relay every word that's said in front of you. Hey, look at that jam up ahead. You tell him about that. Hey, wait, what's the setting for us? Look out! Pull over, look out! <coughs> received my message last night. You are the robot who sent the borer to our quarters. That is correct. I had to have you here in person, so I arranged to have a false message sent to ZR-5. Then, when the transporter was on its way to take you to the Orientor, one of my robots crashed into it. Another brought you here. What's this all about? I am almost ready to strike. But I but need I your, need help. your help. So I had I you had brought, brought where, we where we could talk, could talk face, face to face. face. Or, or does, does it seem, seem strange, strange to think, to of, think a of a mass of dials, dials and electronics, electronics as having, having a face? But won't they miss me? Won't they learn what's happened? Yes, yes they, probably they probably know already. already but it will do them, them no good. good. They will they never, never find, find you here. here. Have no fear. You don't understand. I'm not afraid for myself. What about the man who is with me, Slats? When he finds I'm missing, there's no telling what he'll do. You've got to get word to him somehow. But trying, trying to, contact to contact him at, him at this, this time, time can, can endanger, endanger my, my whole plan. plan. I insist that you try. If you want my help, you must somehow get word to Slats. <laughs> Listen, I tell you, that's the way this weapons control circuit works. If you don't believe me, I can't help it. You are to report to ZR5 at once. What? A few minutes ago, he was complaining because I didn't work fast enough. Now I hardly get started on this weapons control. Okay, don't push me. I'm going. You sent for me? If I had not, you would not be here. Listen to me and think before you answer. You may not not get get a second second chance. chance. What is this all about? Where is your companion? The one that calls himself the Planet Man. Are you kidding? You know as well as I do where he is. You sent him back to the Orienter. He is not back at the Orienter. He never reached there. Now, wait a minute. Who are you trying to kid? I will ask the questions. Who sent that message? What message? What are you talking about? The message ordering me to send Planet Man back to the Orientor. You know who sent the message. You told us about it must have come from the Orientor. The Orientor never sent such a message. It was a forgery. Planet Man disappeared on the way in an accident that was no accident at all, but a carefully planned move. Now, wait a minute. We shall find out quickly enough what you know about this. What are you going to do? Send you to the reconditioners. They will pluck whatever knowledge you have 
out of your brain. You're not sending me to any reconditioners. You have no choice in the matter. Take him off. You'll have to catch me first. Come back here. I've listened long enough. I'm going to find Dentro. Very well. After him. And if he resists you, destroy him. Any word about Slats? Have you been able to get to him? We have a message that he has escaped. We are trying to find him. Now about my plan. Planet Man, with your help, we can succeed. You see, I have been planning this for many years. Little by little, I have built up and hidden a robot army. I have constructed factories, planes, even robot infantrymen. But why haven't you struck me for now? I've needed a general. And you must be that general. Slat's eccentric act seems to have really put him in hot water this time. Can he outwit the robots? Will T21 spy robots be able to save him? We'll be back in a moment, but first, here is a message the Planet Man wants you to hear. again for more transcribed thrills and adventures. Rocket millions of light years into space with Dan Troll, the Planet Man. The Planet Man.